Yeah, it turns out people really do need my help for NHL 21. I'll show you what I mean. How many of you never started playing hut mode because you thought you were too stupid? Yeah, yeah, I did on that one. <laughs> That's okay. It turns out it's not that hard. At least not as hard as figuring out what color that dress was. I still say white and gold. Welcome back, folks. My name is Ryan, and I'm the True Believer, aka the champion of your chat room. And as we get closer to the release of NHL 21, I am here giving you guys tips that you can practice right now in NHL 20, because the AI in 21 is going to be a lot smarter. So you gotta be too. And as far as hut mode is concerned, it's actually pretty easy, but I'm going to break it into two parts, playing an actual game and then all the other craziness that happens in hut mode. So let's quickly show you what a challenge looks like. So when you start your new hut team this season, you're going to want to get it leveled up as quickly as possible. Some good ways to do that is these Stanley Cup challenges right here. But Ryan, they might not even have Stanley Cup challenges in the new one. Hey, shut up. Obviously, things like this could be different, but all I'm saying is you got to find the smallest challenges possible and exploit them early on. So here was a whole bunch of rookie challenges, semi-pro, pro, pro all-star, and superstar level, okay? These are short, quick games that give you coins and open packs and whatnot, and if they don't have it in the new one, just find the shortest games possible, at least to start. So here's one for example. All I got to do is take 15 shots. Periods are one real-time minute when difficulty is only pro. So yeah, let's get that. Now, 15 shots doesn't sound like a lot, but that's only one real-time minute for a period, so I really got to get after it and just get as many rebounds as possible. All right, so we're going to take it up, like I said, cross the blue line and just wire one low so we can get a rebound kicking out. Okay. Oh, I'm getting picked off, but you know. <laughs> okay, again, just a backhand on the net. Oh, look at that. There you go. <laughs> Folks, it never hurts to throw it on net, man, especially in the playoffs. Right, Leafs? <laughs> I know they know. They know. They know. Okay, so we can't let them have the puck for too long at all because, like, they'll waste the clock, man. Computer players. Oh, jeez. I was stuttering as I scored. Now I don't even remember what I was saying. What do you think of that? Oh, that's right. I can't wait. <laughs> Sorry. I can't let them have the puck for too long because they'll just pass it around a million times and waste the entire game. I gotta get in, get my shots, and get out. So hits are a good way to turn the puck over fast. Aiming for blocker and pads help you get a lot more rebounds keep the puck alive. See? Still going for it. And what's good about doing these challenges is if you're trying to accomplish these goals, you end up having to play different styles. Varlamov. I don't know why I do that. So, need to get 15. We're at 6 right now. Let's see if we can finish it in this period so we don't even have to worry in the third. That'd be nice. Nice stress-free existence. That's not really what we're all about here on Two Believer, folks, are we? Okay. Missing the net doesn't help. That doesn't count as a shot for anyone who's new to hockey. I know that sounds obvious to some, but still, we're trying to include everybody, all right, guys? So I want to win it back left and just fire it on the net as soon as possible. I'll try to keep it low, but it hit a skate. And again, folks, that's something that's hard to do up this high for the view. Aim it through skates. Well, in any view, really, in this game. But the pros can do it, man. They do it so well. Like real hockey players, not pro EA Sports players. <laughs> Don't get gassed up there, Twitchers. Oh, no. Not getting my shots. See? And, like, they're wasting this period on me. All these rushes and puck possession. See if I can get another one before the period's over. Come on, squeak through. There we go. That uh, was a nice uh, low shot, but didn't bounce my way. Again. Oh, quick. Before the period's over. Ah. See what I mean, though? You got to rush. Get a bunch. All right, so where are we at now? Eight. Oh, my goodness. We only got two that period. See? We are in trouble. Oh, there we go. Let's just get another one there. Hey, you got to take them when you can get them, right? All right, come on. Get it over the blue line and fire it on the net. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Another one. All right, come on now. Get it through the traffic seat. They know. They know that's my challenge is to get shots. They swear. They designed the, the challenges this way. Okay, get by him. A little shot on net. There we go. That counts, right? What are we at now? Like 10? Get it back, boys. We're wasting time. See the way the computer just stalls and stalls and stalls? More than Eric, right? Come on. Get a pathway clear. No. Oh, my goodness. I don't think we did it. Uh-oh. I don't think I completed the goal I was setting out for in this video. Don't worry. 
See, you might think that's a really bad thing, but there's all these other goals right here that we chipped away at with that game. And over time they add up and you earn all kinds of coins that you can buy cool cards with. Speaking of which, over here in the auction house, all you gotta do is browse auctions and we can try and score a sweet player with the money that we have. So my buy now minimum is set to 71,000. My buy now maximum is 72,000, even though I don't quite have that much. I'm gonna go looking for a deal. Okay, so if I look at this dude right here, his buy now price is 72,000, which is more than what I have. If I go here, down to compare price. Look how many people are putting this guy up and for way less. 54,000, well, 55,000 basically. Can I go lower? Okay, 44,000. All right, so over here, that's the one then. 44,444. Buy now. Send him to the collection. Now, were there better players available in my price range? Maybe, but I'm just trying to show you that the compare price function is awesome and it'll save you a ton of money if you're smart. I'm not smart and it helps me, so imagine what it can do for you. Again, the hut mode might not be exactly like this in NHL 21. I don't really know, but no matter how it presents itself, there's going to be a way to find a good deal on cards. So focus on that. Buying packs is always going to be a waste if you ask me. Other than that, you'll see some objectives in there probably somewhere. Something like this. Just keep working away at those goals and you'll be able to collect coins coins. There they go. So nice, right? Well, there you have it, folks. There's some hunt mode tips that I can guarantee will help you in NHL 21. You gotta remember, there's people out there that are just joining the NHL franchise for the first time. So we're looking out for you too, okay? Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you snipe that like button. Maybe go back and check out the other videos like this in the series. And if you want to witness when NHL 21 finally gets released, come check it out here and subscribe so you don't forget. I'm also on Twitch every Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern time, where we just kick back and we play some hockey and we talk about hockey. Everyone's included, except you. Yeah, you know who you are. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, come on out. Stay safe out there, everybody, and I'll see you at the rink. That's right, folks, you heard. The True Believer is now on Twitch. So come join me over there on Fridays for our live streams, and keep checking back on this channel for our weekly videos. How do we say our like it's a bunch of people? It's just me. They're my videos. Weird.